Call the December Park Board meeting to order. Uh, you want to start with the roll call of sure. attendance? Pam Brokaw? Here. Mike Kennedy? Here. Karen Nesset? Here. Tori Boomza? Here. Karen Stankovic? Here. Not here. And Don Buchholz? Is not Don's not here. And me. And Pat Karen's, Casanova? Karen Stankovic yep. is here. Oh, she is? Okay. It's yep. right down there. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any comments from citizens before we go into our agenda? Please take the podium and Feel free to go right ahead. Introduce yourself. Sure. I am uh, Roger Riedel. I live at 306 Knollwood Drive, which is uh, on a cul-de-sac that abuts uh, Coons Hill Park. And that's why I'm here this afternoon. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Coons Hill Park, it's a small neighborhood park, undeveloped for the most part. It has a parking lot, a grassy area, and then also a hillside, which is popular this time of year for people that go up there sledding. Otherwise, the park's use uh, a lot by people in the neighborhood to exercise their animals um, and so forth. Uh, the reason I came tonight is that the border or the fence, and I have pictures that I can pass around. The fence, and if you can call it a fence, has been in decay for years and years. It has posts that are experiencing varying degrees of rot. There's a orange uh, road barricade that I think was probably put there as a temporary measure for something. It's been there for well over three years. Um, there's a remnants. Yeah, you'll notice in one of the pictures a, there's about an eight foot uh, tall, looks like a cedar post. That's all that's left from um, a sign that told you were in Coons Hill Park. The sign's been long gone. Um, I initially brought this to the attention of, I believe, the park board. I remember sending, sending uh, Deb an email maybe three years ago. I don't know if I did the city council also, um, with essentially the same pictures. And at that point, uh, the response was that an engineer would look at it and the fence would be put up the following spring, which would be three years ago this coming spring. As you can see, nothing's been done to that park. Yeah. And I, I don't think that's a good look for a park in Hudson. And that's all I have. I'd mm -hmm. like to see some concrete plans made to actually address that uh, in the near future. No, yeah. thank you for bringing it to our attention and thank so you. publicly. Okay, so thank you. No, it'll get dealt with. Okay, no, thank, thank you, you for bringing it up. Anybody have any questions? So before he, he, we close that and move to anything else. If not, we'll move on to the to our agenda. Our first item for new business is a possible action to install heritage signs at Lakefront Park. It's Mary Claire. Mary Claire is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess I'll introduce it. Uh, Hudson Area Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau, uh, St. Croix Historical Society and Christensen Creative put together a proposal to add uh, historical signage throughout our uh, Lakefront Park and out onto the Tollbridge Road. And they are here to present their um, kind of proposal and answer any questions that you might have. I did include their slides or their proposal in your packet. Hopefully you're able to see that so you can kind of have an idea of what they're, what they're talking about. So with that, I guess I'll hand it over to you ladies. Thank you for coming. Hi, I'm Mary Claire, this is Tricia. Thank you so much. We're so excited about this project. And um, like I, um, as Ross said, the information is in your packet, but just kind of walking through that it's going to be on the south side, right? Mm -hmm. South side of the toll bridge. So that will be a really fun way to expand the park further. But we could walk through the project with you, or do you, if you have specific questions? I think it actually takes up every light post from the, the band shell um, along that entire walking path to the boat launch. So as people are kind of walking down with their dogs or their kids or um, even you know local families, there would be banners to tell the story of uh, Hudson history. Um, so it would be fairly robust, which is nice and another way to engage our visitors. Mm -hmm. Is it the light poles also along the sidewalk on, on uh, first? No, it's just, just, just the, the walking path, path. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more decorative. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then we also have a proposed um, signs on the archway. One of the things when we were taking the walking tour with um, 
uh, years ago when we applied for the SPARK grant from the Community Foundation, there is a dedication plaque that has patinaed. And so it is hard to read all the names on the patinaed plaque. So one of the new signs would actually be resetting all of those names that are in dedication currently, but putting it in the same style, making sure it's readable, and then could carry forward for you know years to come. Mm -hmm. What would the group like you? Why don't you go through the whole thing or just answer questions? I went, I went through it all. I, yeah. I, I think we're comfortable yeah. with that. Okay. I think my comment is I, I love this, and I, I love that Hudson's doing this, and thank you guys for, for doing that. We have such a historic, uh, not just the, the town, but the parks and the river and how it all blends together. My only personal comment that, that popped out at me, and again, this could just be me, which is often is just me. So. <laughs> um, I, I see that archway, and I could be wrong, Pat could correct me. I see that archway as like the whole part is sort of a monument, it's sort of a, almost a museum piece, I'll put it, in my brain it is. Um, and seeing the, the vivid graphics and the vinyl uh, with aluminum brackets and whatever, it, it's almost like we're putting, putting something on a piece that you should stand back and, and look at. If these were literally on a post, you know, two feet away, mm -hmm. I think that th then we can kind of look at this thing um, with the reverence. I think it, I always look at it when I walk by. So that's my only comment. I love everything about it. Mm -hmm. It's just the mounting on the actual, you know, that's the almost the most historic thing in that whole thing. We no longer have the, the yeah. cannon is gone and, you know, all those things. This is, this is one last thing. So I don't know if that could be tweaked. Um, I, 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 I know your point about that plaque being gone, and maybe, maybe part of this update and slash renewal is that we could look at replacing that or updating the plaque and kind of bringing it back to the original look, feel, timing, et cetera. So anyway, that's, that's my decision. Other than that, I, I love it. It's a good observation, though. I Mike, I agree with you on that. Yeah. That we should stand it back in a way. Another thing is I was looking through all this, the height of it, mm -hmm. to be sure they're low enough that children and families can actually read and see these things. Because too often these are uh, put up around town, and I've seen where they're too small mm -hmm. or too high, and no one can read them. They look beautiful, but nobody's read a word on them. So just keep that in mind, size of print, style, yes. and height. Yes, but I, keeping it away from the arch is important. I'm trying to find the, the dimensions of the, the signs. So these are 44 inches. No, that's the welcome. We will look at it. We'll, we do mock-ups before we print anything. Yeah, and then stand yeah. back and see. Yeah, yeah. And I think the goal is to keep it really simple because there is a phase two idea of having an audio tour with it. So we don't have to tell the whole story on the banners, um, but then when we have... A, Phase two, that, that would be a nice component, and maybe we have people from town reading some of those stories. Too. And on your audio tour, could you also include, like, maybe the Boy Scout monument yes. and other things around? Because yeah. there are some really yeah. neat things that should be part of that. Mm -hmm. And then that would congruently draw it all together. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. How about going north of the, uh, the band shell and the, and the beach up towards St. Croix Street? I think that could be a great phase two. Yeah. With the railroad and the history from mm -hmm. all of that, that's so evident from there. Yeah, and of course, like Octagon House would be critical for helping us pull those stories together, but I think mm -hmm. that would be great. And it's something that we can build upon for years and years just to keep yeah. history points throughout Hudson um, relevant. We keep getting older. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> right? true, we, yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Pat. Any other questions? Uh, I, had a qu I, I love the idea. The items that would be displayed, who would determine what's displayed or the content that's on the, the information that's being put So up? Christensen Creative will work with the Octagon House Museum um, to create themes um, and then different phases, but a lot of it will be based on lifestyle, school, industry, transportation, just kind of cool things that you know, are really high level history. And then if people want to learn more, they can go to the museum or the history room at the library um, to keep the stories going. And you could include that in your you want a motion, don't you? Mm -hmm. verbiage of your point. I can tell, well, can I, I, can I just tell you as the assistant director of the museum, I'm, <laughs> I'm super excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we are, we're really excited at the museum because it's, um, it's such a, we obviously at the museum love Hudson history, duh. Mm -hmm. um, 
but we're just excited. We're always excited to share it with the community and to get it out with um, these two is such a fantastic opportunity for all of Hudson to learn more. As I always say, um, you know, we have such a deep history here in Hudson that so many people don't even realize. Um, and it just if, if someone can just get a, a small taste of what we offer or what we what we have done and what we've created in this town, I'm I'm so excited for that because we have we've put so many amazing people and um, and inventions and things into the world that so many people from Hut from just from Hudson alone don't realize what we've contributed. So I'm super excited that um, that these flags will be out there and let people know how great our town is and where we've come from to what we are and and who we are. So I'm excited. If I can just add one of the really popular pieces that Trisha and her team helped us create is a historic walking tour through Hudson. That is the number one piece that everyone who comes to the chamber office you know, requests and takes with them and that it's drivable, you can walk. Um, people love learning about a history of a community, so I think this will even enhance that even more. You want to make a motion then? I make a motion to approve this. Second. <laughs> I'll second. Any further discussion? Anybody have any other well, questions? I think we should make that statement if everybody agrees about not hanging on the arch. Mm -hmm. Okay. If that's if everybody yeah, else is that. in, and so that that becomes part of the motion. And yes. And would would we? Um, I don't want to overdo it, but no, since no. you guys are going to create create the creative, mm -hmm. do we want? Do we want? Since it's in our park, do we want a final sign off on the proofs of what the material is? Is that overkill? Does it pass by Mike's desk first? That was going to be my question to the park board: Is do you want to see? The mock-ups. Yeah, I think yes. we should have. A I think mock-ups are even just a PDF of um, just in case it gets you know down some strange. Okay, now I'm sounding weird, but you know what I'm saying. It's going to be out there for display. We should at least before we say we're all for it, and then you guys surprise us with something on there. <laughs> Do um, amend the I'm sure you won't, but we'll amend the motion. I will say if we take the graphics off the arch, we can't just automatically do a monument because we got the funding to do what was proposed. Okay. So we would have to get a bid and it will be substantially more to do a freestanding sign next to the, the archway. But we can get that priced out. Um, it may push out because if we have to fundraise for more dollars, that's, that's the challenge. So you want to change your motion to include with oversight? The, with, with, us, with okay. us approving? Okay. Final approval? Okay, so I make a motion to approve <laughs> this with the oversight of uh, the park board just to make sure that it's all good to go. Mary Claire. Mary Claire. Mr. Chair, can I just ask one question? So would the board be willing to look at something different on the archway, or are you just saying do not touch the archway whatsoever? Do not touch the archway. Okay. Yeah, I look at it like if you go see an old Viking ship or something in a museum, you know, they don't screw the the plaque about it right, right on the piece. And I know that I know this this project isn't just about the arch, but again, right. um, yeah, I, I just think that that's. Could it be placed on the sides, and not be on the visual of the front of the arch? Would that be? Is that? A, 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 it gets tacky. I mean, You're still sti sticking something on the arch, right? And it's not as going to be as visible. Isn't I think it'd be seen more if it was in the or in, or something in front. What's the of doing oh. it? I might just invite you then to maybe rethink the plaque that is on the arch because, I mean, you really cannot read it. Yeah, right, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, no, I, mean, I totally know what you mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, I, I, knew, I knew when I said something that's probably going to incur more cost. That, um, or or are the, are the two that you have proposed for there, are they already set? In, I mean, is that the There's four beginning? proposed. There's two on the front, two on the back. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, front and back, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, am I making that? Could up? they go on side on, on the outside inside of the arch because that way, as you're looking at the arch, mm -hmm. you won't see the signs from the photographic image of it. But yet, that arch will still be there. The arch is old, but it's not, his, it's not ancient for Hudson. It was a, it's a um, a landmark piece that was installed to right. say Hudson. Um, so it's not, it's not. 
I mean, I, I realize that we have sentimental value to it. Right. But it's not something that is ancient and original to Hudson. Right. So I think maybe as we look at it, you know, maybe if it's a possibility to put them on the inside and the outside of the arch post, um, then it wouldn't be if, you know, if we're taking photos and you're taking your prom pictures and everything, it wouldn't be in those photos. That might be a possibility to look at. But they're two different time periods and everything else. And it's, it's just well, that's all a put person. on a post. Could we take over, could this project take, you know, just not have them on those posts, but move that to the, the first light post yeah. in question and it's, have it begin there? Or it's a it lot smaller of a space, but we'll come up with options. It'll just be maybe that has to move to a phase two if we need to find additional funding. I see. For it. Okay. Yeah. Right. I appreciate you guys understanding that. Thank but I, again, it's personal, you know, right. no, I get so it. my no, first thing is don't, don't touch it. Even again, if it's four feet away and you have a post that has the two sticking out there, that's great. It's just that's that. But again, that's, we all get mm -hmm. to have a say in that. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support of this project. And I just want to also thank you for your support of Lights in the Park. I hope you've had a chance to go view the fourth annual, we hope, Buena Vista with 335,000 really nice. lights. And we hope to add each year. But I greatly appreciate your support. We can't do that project without you. So thank you. It's beautiful. It's so thank pretty. You. It is. Next item on the agenda is the bike repair stations. Yeah, so River Valley Trails contacted me. Uh, they are willing to donate to the city a bike repair station. They would like to have it mounted somewhere in Lakefront Park. And so I am bringing it forward to the board to see if you are uh, willing to accept that donation and be where you would like to see it be mounted. Now in the, in the issue sheet, I, I did say that we used to have one mounted next to the bathhouse. Mm -hmm. We ultimately relocated that one to go up on the north end of the lakefront park trail to be incorporated into the boy scout project that or the eagle scout project that was completed last year um so we no longer have one at the bathhouse so that's a location otherwise we can put it anywhere else that you think could be a good place to put one in like i just park. suggested in a very visible open area okay. we were just out we were out in the grand canyon and they have those and they're in the parking lot areas very visible where there's a lot of traffic so that no shenanigans can go on with them yeah. but the they're very nice and all the bikers they use them they they'll tune their bike up on their way and everything mm -hmm. so yeah okay. it's a good how thing. big is it uh, like would it fit where the old one was yeah 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 okay yeah it was that the old one was tucked on the north side of the building mm -hmm. to don's point it wasn't very visible um but people did use it yet yeah. but the know. visibility is not only to be seen but, but so no shenanigans yeah, no shenanigans, right. <laughs> first it was going to go out by that big planter okay where it would have been more visible right at that time no, or i mean if, if yeah. you want to place it along the trail we can always have my staff pour a concrete pad to mount it on there as well i, I you know it's up to you where if you what want about, to what about down by the fitness center yeah what about mm -hmm. that area where there's yeah, those dumb. different reps you yeah. can do yep yeah. that would be a that'd be a good place for it location well, first off, we want to accept the gift, right? Mm -hmm. I'll move to sure. accept it. I'll second that. Any further discussion about accepting it? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Now I think we can have an influence on where it goes. But we have said we're going to take it and we'd like to do it. Yeah. yeah. Good. And so is that something we want to work out? You want to work out with them and then come back to us with the no, final? No, they, kind of, they kind of put it in our lap. Okay. They said, you know, have the park board discuss where they'd like to see it. And then based on our discussion, I'll go back to them and say, they want to accept your donation. This is where they want it. And they'll give the thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay. If it's anywhere like from park, they're going to say, yeah, go for it. Okay. The only thing I would say is if we have one up on the north end, it makes sense to put one down closer to the south end. So they're kind of on each end of the park, kind of bookending it. Yeah. Because if you put it next to the play or the, the workout equipment is there's one, the one in the north end is yeah. only yeah. 300 yards north yeah. right. okay like yep. by the volleyball courts there's lights there Somewhere street lights there. are there if you take your bike off your car it's kind of there rather than tucked <coughs> yep. far away and then that's also the south side if it's you near will. the new boat yeah, launch and everything yeah. 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 yeah is that a suggestion for where we put it south end sounds good yeah we all comfortable with that Okay. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Great. I think it's a 
going to be a nice addition. South end of the Lakefront Park, along the trail. Mm -hmm. In a lighted area. Next item is our meeting schedule for next year. That yep. was in the in yep. the packet. So it's it's basically the the first Tuesday of every month. Um, how we've historically held our meetings. Um, obviously, things can kind of play it by ear based on you know availability or you know agenda items, so on and so forth. But this gives us the general fr framework to work off of. So uh, staff is recommending approval. I move to approve. A second. Moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> Next item we've got up is um, to install a, a dedicated memorial area in Lakefront Park. And I believe, Tori, that's part of the one you're involved with. I can, with. I can, well, can take oh, you can do it, Mike. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, so Tori had approached me, oh, probably a couple months ago already, um, discussing a veterans <clears throat> memorial to be placed in Lakefront Park. And um, at the time, I thought maybe it would be a good idea to get support from an organization to kind of team up and, and kind of have more, um, what do you want to say? Support. More support for the project instead of just one or two per people wanting to see something go in. So uh, she's done some legwork on it and, and got some responses from some organizations. And I guess she's bringing it forward tonight for just general discussion, get some initial feedback, uh, and then also maybe just get some feedback from my personal standpoint <coughs> as far as just kind of the discussions that we've had in the past about memorial, memorials in Lakefront Park. You know, we already have memorial trees, memorial benches. You know, if we do a veterans memorial, so on and so forth. Do we want to just create instead of continuing to add and add and add memorials, whether it's you know benches or trees? Do we want to maybe just have one central location where we memorialize people, maybe in addition to the veterans park veterans memorial, where people can buy a paver or a plaque or something like that? So that's also something that I'd like to have just some initial discussion on and get some initial thought back from the park board. So with that. Tori? Well, yeah, so um, I had been talking to some people about a veterans memorial because we don't currently have one in Hudson. There is one at the government center, um, but that is St. Croix County's uh, memorial to veterans. And with the, all the redo that's going on at Lakefront, it's such a obviously beautiful location. Um, we figured that it would be a great location to put a veterans memorial to our Hudson specific veterans um, and so like Mike said I spoke with him and he had mentioned that instead of having the city fully back it financially trying to find an organization that would be able to help us out um, to foot the bill or at least part of the bill um, we really haven't done much footwork at all on it yet because I just want to know that if it's something that we can move forward with then we would go ahead and do that um, we do have an organization called all the way home that's a local organization that would like to help us out in um, making this memorial and I just think it would be I I think that Hudson would benefit from a veterans memorial because we don't have anything to honor those who have served for us so um, that's what I would like to see um, that was something I would like to really work on and obviously with all of your help um, but to get moving and um, place somewhere in 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 great visibility in downtown Lakefront Park for our veterans so if we want to open up for discussion I'm happy to do that discussion yeah um, as a veteran and I've traveled throughout the United States and all throughout Wisconsin and I've looked at many veterans memorials and most of them are kind of cold granite people walk by them and that's it I would like to see something that's very warm very welcoming where veterans can take their grandchildren their children and a kind of a, almost a mini park within the park kind of thing the pavers is a great idea to go with it for people that might contribute to this as a veterans but something that's very warm, very welcoming, that would draw families, uh, grandpas, gra you know, grandmas and, and grandchildren, so that we can share you know, this great heritage of the country and sacrifices that have been made. Uh, because just putting something up to walk by, we can do so much more than that. Right, like I said, yeah, we haven't designed or yeah. done any footwork. But that's so, just my thought. Yeah, I agree, yep. Mm -hmm. Others? Well, and on that same point, what comes to mind is if we do it 
you know, in lakefront in view of the river. Um, you know, I think benches or something where I'm like you, Dan, I've seen them and, and uh, yeah, sometimes they're right in the middle of the city and it's a, you know, granite wall with some names in it and it's, it's, it's faceless and whatever. But, but if we do put it in this uh, much more beautiful area where people can spend time there and contemplate and think of veterans, you know, that have gone before us, uh, I like that idea. So maybe it, rather than just a wall with names, it's a functional, I don't, you know, I'll say fountain or benches or gathering of some sort. Right. I'm wondering if we could do some kind of a survey of community members, vet, veterans, and get their input as to what, they, what they'd what they like to see. If we would establish a, a park like this, what would they like to see in in that park? And what, what's important to them? And I threw this out my prospect. This might be kind of a far reach, but I'd like to see a sculpture as well. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of talented artists in this area. To get somebody who's really talented to donate a sculpture that's grand. And I was saying the point up in Prospect could be a great opportunity mm -hmm. for a spot as well. Oh, the overlook up there. Yeah, the overlook. Yeah. Because yeah. that would draw two things together. What, are, you, are you against that? Yeah. Okay. Well, we, <laughs> we use that point for like weddings and gatherings and, and things of that nature. And we're, we're doing the yeah. decorative walkway and the, yeah. the patio up there. I mean, it's an option, but I mean, I think. Oh, not I the think other, there's, there's more the visibility. Point. I think yeah. there's more visibility at Lakefront for people to see it mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, get down. That's where tourists or visitors. Right. Come. Yeah. We don't have vis outside visitors don't go up to Prospect Park generally. That's true. I would, that was some, our, our who is it, the front. Who's it going to be for, though? Is it for our veterans and our community? Hudson veterans. Or is it for visitors? I mean, it's kind of a, tech, a sticky well, point. Well, but you just said that you when you go into different towns yeah. and things, you go and visit veterans memorials. Well, I walk by them, see them, and they're mm -hmm. just so cold so, and everything. Well, yeah, so I just think um, what a way to honor who we've had by letting everyone know who okay. we have. You know, visitors and residents alike, they can, you know, say thank you. I, I guess my feeling is this, it, certainly I think we should explore this. Um, but I like the idea of trying to consolidate some of our memorials so that we're not just spreading out memorials all over. And then they lose the value. Yeah. Yep. So maybe if, if we go with a veterans memorial, it also could be an area where benches or plaques or trees or whatever could also be added there and it's a more specific spot for all kinds of memorials right mm -hmm. that's my thought mm -hmm. someone kind of them. like a memorial in a circle where sort of i mean just so that uh, where you could have the scouting location. there yeah. as like a well. single location yeah so i think Rather you're hearing that the the park board is interested that'd be great and that it's not <laughs> something that they're opposed to, to right. looking at or doing and to work with you to come up with a solution all right well, that'd be awesome am i correct in, in that summation of i would suggest the planning committee with at least one or two members of uh, the park board are you going to volunteer to be the other one on it with with tori <laughs> um would this be something that we could well, you're approach a veteran. the council with as far as funding or is this is this going to be i'm, I'm I know I've done the pricing, but is this something that we could approach the city with for asking for funding, at, you know, some funding, or is this something that uh, if when we're doing something like this that it's going to be solely funded, we should look for solely outside sourcing funding? Well, I looked at Stillwater's uh, Veterans Memorial, and I believe the city gave the group that wanted to install it the land. Okay. You know which one I'm referring to? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. -hmm. Um, Let's see. It's it it's by, by it's by Teddy Bear Park. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that I mean that one's really um, really nice, really expensive. But obviously, <laughs> the city gave them the land, and then the, the group organized and got all the donations to build and construct it. Um, what I would suggest, and you know, Mike, you're on council. I would I would say maybe do a little legwork and get some preliminary design and maybe mm -hmm. some costs together, mm -hmm. and then have those conversations. Okay. That's what I would say instead of. Instead Would of you going give us to money? them without a plan, without <laughs> right. anything, and say, hey, will you give yeah. us some money? You know, <clears throat> right. The, the more details you have, the, the better conversations you're going to have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Could we put some kind of a survey on the website or somewhere asking for community input? On 
We could it. do, I guess what I would maybe say is doing some type of article in the paper. Mm -hmm. And just say, you know, the city the park board is, is looking into, you know, Veterans Memorial and Lakefront Park. If you have any suggestions. Any questions, any call such mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, that, or email so and so. Would that email me or do you want it to go to you or how would we want to do something like that? It's up to you. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. It's up okay. To you. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea, Pam, to get. I like that idea. I do like that idea. I would be willing to help or volunteer. For oh, the thank you. Too. Great. There you go. Perfect. But then a specific, I mean, is a park board dead set on a location in Lakefront Park? Are there spots that Tory should stay away from? So you have two volunteers. Obviously, I don't think around like the bathhouse or maybe the, the band shell. I yeah. mean, I'm just speaking, but are there like no, no, no go areas within Lakefront Park? No, obviously in front of the band shell. Yeah. <laughs> End of the dike. And yeah. And <laughs> Yeah, no. And maybe yeah, but would no, the location I mean, that, be impacted by what the what it looks what it like. looks like, right? right. How big it is, how right, yeah. right. the scope yeah. of it all. If anything else is going to be incorporated mm -hmm. with it, and and maybe some, what the community feel, you know, where would the community like to see it too? Is it Lakefront Park? Is it CrossFit? Is it a different park, or maybe that get that input too? Mm -hmm. Just a thought. No, I think they're all valid valid ideas. Well, and since we're throwing ideas out, you know, you mentioned at the end of the dike road, but that's one, just the, the road itself, let's say not the end, you know, rather than just a, here's this little area with walls and a statue or whatever, almost like a moving or, uh, well, you'd have to move, but a walking type memorial. Uh, I, again, I'm not an artist or whatever, but maybe there's almost stations or, or you know, use that because that's basically a cement thing that gets you from one end to the other, and then you can look out and see the beautiful. Or going boats. along with the flags that the chamber is putting up, mm -hmm. we could do something. Maybe flags down the dike even might be an option. I don't know if that's something. I mean, that might yeah. be something. Mm -hmm. A veterans walk down the dike might be yeah, kind or of a messages neat. in the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mike just loves when we. <laughs> I see jackhammer the entire surface. Up. Yes, no. take but it I mean, all off. Maybe there's maybe it's a part of the walk, and you visit the you know World War One, World War Two. You know, however, though, right. there's so many different oh. ways to lay it out, and maybe it's actually in the surface or you know along that wall. Um, and then to kind of go back to where what you were talking about, Stillwater. I know that in the future we're going to have some parcels of land become available to the park. Uh, system mm -hmm. the city for the parks and I know that there's some cities that have Memorial Park and it's a oh. city park but it's it that's the main thrust of it is they have a statue or they have a whatever mm -hmm. but there's still picnic tables and benches and um, I know that I mean we're talking about so many different things here but just to throw things at the wall maybe some of the maybe there's a, there is a piece that that in a few years when this all comes together that that Hudson has a Veterans Memorial Park. Yeah, that'd be nice mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. right. um, your idea with, you know, putting the post placards all along the walk, paste, you know, not too, I mean, just walk a little bit, another one's mm -hmm. up, another one's up. Well, I mean, that would just hallmark that whole That would make the dike path. a nice... And we could do the yeah. history of Hudson <coughs> and have it, you know, with a question that leads to the next one and a question that leads to the next one where it draws people all the way down to the dike and then have something at the dike where they could, you know, it's something very nice that's the reward for going all out there. And then on the way back again, tell another story that draws them into the town, the community, mm. shop, whatever. But you oh, can draw them out, have a reward at the end, <laughs> draw them back in to spend time in the community. And boy, that could just be cracker jack. Oh, it could. I like the walk down the dike idea. I think you're going to get some great ideas. I do too. I think yeah. I, I like the idea of surveying the Hudson for it. I think that would be what people imagine to see for that. And we'll just figure that one out. We'll figure out how to get that phrased and put together. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. I really do. I think it. it it will find a nice home in Hudson. I think it'll end up being something that you can be really proud of yeah. in your community that it was done, I think. I think it's needed. Yeah. 
I think it's a really good idea. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That's it that we have for new business. We have old business. We have the concessions agreement yep. with the bathhouse. Yep, so Alex had uh, reached back out to me and they would like to come back for the 2023 season. Mm -hmm. uh, the attached agreement is, is fairly similar to the one in 2022. We just updated the dates um, and cleaned up a couple different pieces of small language. Um, so I reviewed it and um, I think they did a great job and they're excited to come back and so staff is recommending approval. How did they do? Like, did they, they did well. Yeah. People loved it. Very popular yeah. place. I'm glad they yep. were very mm -hmm. good. It was all over Facebook. The was people it? were yeah. like, go see them. Yeah, it was yeah. great. It was really, it was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. They worked it. I thought they did a good job on the yeah. presentation, so it's mm -hmm. nice to hear. Yeah. Yep. With, um, I forget where that is. Uh, well, I guess Grandview, we take a percentage of the sales from that in that? Six percent. Yeah. And then this doesn't, this has no, this is just a straight lease. Set straight rate. rent. Mm -hmm. Straight rent. We did have a uh, percentage for a while. Okay. And it just, we it benefit just so much from having somebody down there and just our vandalism costs <laughs> drop so far. That it's not worth it. Okay. That it's worth it. Yeah. I'll move to approve. A I'll second. second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Point of order, uh, did we approve the minutes yet from last week, no. last month? No, no, not yet. Did we? I thought we did in the beginning. No. I'm sorry, that was my fault. No, that's okay. Um, who just did the motion? I'm sorry, you did the second. Right? I said, yeah. Pam. Mike Pam. and I, sorry about that. I missed that. bested yeah. each other for seconding. <laughs> yeah, we need to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Were there any changes, corrections, or omissions that anyone caught when looking at it? Right I'll now. move to approve. I second. Moved and approved. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I apologize. <laughs> Sleep at the wheel. I would have got yeah. Yeah, I sure you. Project updates. I don't have any. Other than we're gonna start flooding the rink uh, tomorrow. Awesome. Oh, so it'll get warm next week? It'll get warm. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly right. Nice. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember last year you were getting reamed out by that woman for how could you be so dumb as to not have ice yeah. for it vacation? Was, yeah. And it was forty five degrees. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you know, but this, this one Christmas. it doesn't yeah. flow out now, right? Or it's it's, a little bit. It has more pr propensity to stay with okay. because it's dished, yes. Right. Good. If you didn't know the, the slope on the old baseball field where Oh the, my god where the ice rink used to be, they'd have to build up six to eight inches of ice on one side to get it level <laughs> before it could cover yeah. to the other. So the grading really made a significant difference and should be able to hold ice easier too. How'd the liner work? Was that <laughs> liner? No. Huh? No liner. No liner this year. Okay. Yep. Trying something different. See if okay. it works better. Okay. Yep. Is my answer. You spray it down, let it freeze thin layers, and then yep. go ahead. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everything go okay with closing up the bathrooms and yep yep no nothing there um, obviously sledding hill people have been using the sledding hill mm -hmm. uh, lakefront park is very busy this time of year with uh, with all the lights in the park Buena Vista um, a lot of different events going on down there critters was in there last weekend it was a little chilly on Saturday um, yeah. the docks are in at the beach house if you haven't are at the boat launch if you haven't seen that mm -hmm. um, I think that's that's pretty much it okay the project that is being looked at to maybe do something with the bicycle trail on the going through by the big dam and and connecting in uh, the county the village of North Hudson and the city are all working together on that project and looking at what it might be able to be and what it might be able to become in the future and solving the ownership issues is the property, most of the property is owned by both the city of Hudson, the village of North Hudson, and St. Croix County. So to get all those ownerships straightened out and worked out will be a, a benefit from it too. But that's moving along and we'll probably pick up speed here this spring. I don't have anything else. Anyone else for future business? 
Motion to adjourn. adjourn. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you very much for coming.